So what Henson Park means to me is, uh, it's, I guess in some ways, and this probably sounds a little bit odd, because um, I'm, not, I'm not a religious person anyway, but I, I kind of have that, when I go there, I just have this sense of, uh, not wellness, but you know, this sense of, you know, it's home almost. Like I've been going there since about 2001 now, um, almost, yeah, almost every week. and. It hasn't changed, and hasn't changed since some early 80s. Going from just a general fan um, to buying jerseys, I, I remember buying my first Newtown jersey at South Sydney Leagues Club when Newtown had an office at South Sydney Leagues Club uh, when they, in the 2000 season. It was just a supporters one, I paid $90 for it. Um, it's now signed by Tommy Rodonikas. But I, I have this sort of knack of if I choose to like something, I'll buy a lot of them. So CDs, comics, things like that. I can't just settle on one. Like, And with Newtown especially, they're a bit of a unusual because the jersey hasn't really changed since about 1977, you know. Uh, but to me, every every year's different. The sponsors might be slightly different. The, the badges might be slightly different. But so to me, that's a new jersey. In my collection, I have about approximately, there's a bit of a guess, but about 250, all rugby league. Yeah, so Newtown Jersey, I've got about 35, 36. Uh, there's an English, third division English rugby league side that I follow quite closely called Rochdale Hornets. I have about 54 of those and just various clubs that are no longer in existence. So Balmain, uh, Western Suburbs, Illawarra, and I've got quite a few English ones that aren't around anymore. So people say, who do you follow? And you go, oh, you know, South and the Roosters. And, and you, say, you pipe up and you say, oh, I follow you. Newtown. And they're like, Oh, oh, didn't think they were still around. And, you know, you know, 26 blokes slugging it out on the field and there's no dancing girls and there's no music and, the, and that sort of stuff. So it's just pure. So it's a great day out for the family. And, and like anything in life, people are sort of looking back to the, the, the golden years, as it were, of their youth and things like that. And they're trying to sort of almost relive their youth a little bit by buying the old jumpers. This particular jumper is a um, New Down Jets 2014 um, away jumper or alternate jumper. Uh, it has a bit of a significance, obviously, that's in my team, which is Newtown, but I came up with the concept of this one, seeing it, your idea for your club on the field is, uh, is, is quite a thrill. It's quite a thrill for somebody who takes an interest in, in that sort of thing, because I think you know, most people are just like, oh, that's just a jumper, but you know, to see it actually worn on, on the field is, is pretty special. To me, when I started, I just thought, you know, you're going to be a bit of a bit of a weirdo type thing, <laughs> collecting rugby league jumpers. But with the wonders of the internet, you realise that there are quite a few people. So, yeah, it's funny that something that's so devalued by one person, so they can literally just throw out um, a, a jumper which they think has absolutely no value, can mean the absolute world to someone like, you know, who's a collector. Yeah, I don't think it's ever had a, a negative impact on my life, so. Broken a few code hangers though. <laughs> Actually, I've got two AFL ones too, but. Um, you can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs>